Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we wanted to develop a text recognition system. Something you could just give an image and could detect the text on it. Now you might ask why? Why are we developing this today? The simple answer is we got nothing else to do. So let's get on it. The first step we want to do in this process is to install this library called as Tesseract. And what is Tesseract? Tesseract, if you come here, uh, is this library and it is open sourced. It was originally developed by HP, the Hewlett Packard, back in 2005. And then it was open sourced along with the University of Nevada and since then it has been you know utilized by millions and millions of people this is now being uh, worked with google google has uh, you know take over the project and they've been working on it they were hosting it on their server for quite some time and then now recently they have moved it on github so everyone can download the source and work towards it tesseract is a library which allows you to do text recognition on a variety of languages. They have several, several languages in it. Uh, you know, Latin American, Spanish, Indian, Hindi, Tamil, Telugu. So millions of languages have been trained in this library. And this is one of the best text recognition libraries out there, which is very robust. It has its own limitations, but to a most extent, it is very, very good and it is uh, widely being used for many of the OCR optical character recognition systems. Uh, it is very easy to install. We, we can come down here. We can use the command line prompt here. And if we type uh, what we need to type, we need to type sudo apt get install tesseract OCR. Now, this is what you will use if you're using a Linux computer like mine. But if you're using Windows or Mac, if you go to the GitHub Tesseract o OCR web uh, page, it has its own installation instructions and these are very nice. This is the one which I'm using for my computer. And similarly, you will see they have operations, they have instructions for other uh, computers as well. So you have Mac OX, I've been told uh, this is really good for Mac if you use the homebrew and Windows has its own instructions here you can go over this in order to install you can make sure uh, for Windows users you want to make sure the Tesseract file is included in the path variable because that's where it's going to be reading Tesseract is nothing but it's a headless program uh, what it means is it allows uh, it's a program which is running and you don't need a GUI to you know run it so it runs headless so as long as you have installed tesseract it's easy to detect so i have this images if you notice this is the folder i am and i have test.jpg and if i simply use the command tesseract test.jpg which is the image that i want to run the text recognition on uh, it's so you, well, what you can do is, in order to test, go to canva.com and it's a free website. And if you create your own image, you can write the text you want it to read. So here, for example, I have this image. Do you want to see how text recognition works made? And if I download this and keep it, I can try running the Tesseract text recognition on it. So in your case, you can uh, create an image or use any uh, any text uh, enabled image on your surface and then give it to this program. So just write the command tesseract test.jpg and you also want to give an output file name. So let's give output and this is this is nothing but uh, specifying where the text should be saved once tesseract detects the text. So once you do this press enter so it will run it will show you this command it means that it ran successfully and we can come down to the folder so if you have the output.txt so this was the original image that we used and it will give you the output.txt and what does it say here 
subscribe and hit the like button so if you like this video please please uh, subscribe and if you like the content which i'm posting up here you can you know subscribe to the channel so that you can follow along with my journey so the text uh, here was this was this was the original image subscribe and hit the like button so if i, I when i gave it to the test rack this is the output which it gave now let's try running it through this image i'll download this i'll download it in an gpg format which is easier and i will go ahead and replace the image which i had originally i'm, I'm this is on the condition that you have already subscribed and you have hit the like button but uh, nevertheless we'll go back into this and now we will try to see how we can run Tesseract through a Python program. So I'll clear this. Uh, in order to run through Python, because Tesseract is an application in itself, you want to have a Python library that packages it. So we have this library called PyTesseract, and, and in order to install it, you have to use pip install PyTesseract. So this is a Python binding for Tesseract and you can uh, use most of the Tesseract functions uh, using this library. So just uh, do pip install pytesseract and uh, it will start, you know, help you work with uh, Tesseract. But before you do pip install pytesseract, you want to make sure you have installed Tesseract in itself by using the sudo apt get install or whatever um, computer you're using based on that install the tesseract and then use the pip install pytesseract because pytesseract is nothing but a binding library that sits on top of tesseract so that you can use tesseract in a python application so i have this python application open up here it's a very easy one and uh, we're using opencv here for those of you who don't know how to install opencv you know, you can watch one of my old videos but if you use pip install python opencv and it will simply install uh, opencv for you based on the version you know what i did a mistake over there i always get confused with this i believe it's opencv python not the other way so it should be a python opencv and once you do that you can install opencv on your computer so this is the application and it's a very sim simple and easy application uh, and what you're doing is you're importing PyTesseract here and you're importing CV2 and the reason we are importing CV2 is nothing but just to read the text because Tesseract doesn't do you know, e image uh, computation for you. So we are using CV2 to read the image from the Py in a Python application and we're using im read test.jpg test.jpg is nothing but the image which we just created on canva and we have saved it here and we're now converting this image from bgr to rgb the reason we do that is because opencv is designed to normally or assume that the images are opened in the bgr format but everything else in the world or every other uh, computer vision application runs with the assumption that images are RGB. So in order to do that, you want to change your image, your existing image in OpenCV in the, from, B, the, from the BGR format to RGB. And it's not necessary that you format, you use this format. You can also use uh, BGR to gray. And uh, to be uh, frankly, to be honest, if you give it normally also, it should work fine no, but uh, just to maintain because you're doing text recognition so it doesn't matter so much as long as you can provide um, a very contrasting image um, between the text and the background so that should be fine but uh, this is how it is uh, being set up you are converting the color profile from BGR to RGB using this command and once that is done we are uh, defining this string variable which is text and we are using the pytesseract the python library of tesseract 
and you are using this function called image to spring and we are passing the image which we uh, converted and which we have already set it up and uh, you know, made it here. So we are passing the IMG here so it can read the image and it can change the image to a string and pass the string whatever was detected in this folder called text. So let's try running this program and we once we print it, it should come up on your command prompt and show what it was. So we'll come here, we'll do a list and we'll see these are all the three uh, files we have. We'll delete the output text.txt because we don't need this anymore. And we just have the image which is do you want to see how text recognition works and we have the application. So let's do this now just to make sure we are uh, in this folder so we have these two files and if we just do python text recognition.py and if we just run this it will give a few seconds and you can see that it has detected the word do you want to see how text recognition works so this is a simple and easy application it is running fine so let's do some other image recognitions let's go back and let's go to canva and try to give this image a background so let's instead of white let's see if we can work on purple and to make this more contrasting let's make it white and see if it works still and do you want to see text recognition work on a colored image just so we know the difference now we come back we do jpg we do download and i am going to replace this because I'm very lazy to go back to the code and change the word test.jpg. But let's see how it works. Python text recognition.py. And let's see. Oh, do you want to see? So the DO went away. Uh, see how it works on a com image. See, it has messed up quite a bit when you're using a colored image. So th those are some of the limitations of Tesseract, but the way you can overcome this is by pre-processing this image before giving it to Tesseract. We'll go into that later in the future videos, but uh, if you, uh, you know, make this image binary and just make the text stand out, it should be fine. Uh, let's go back to the white background, and I want to see how it works with uh, handwritten text or different font so this was a simple font we're going to be using a different font and see how it how the application performs so let's find a relatively different font let's see if this is going to work do you want to see how text recognition work on a colored image to be honest for a human eye to my eye also it looks it doesn't look so easy to read so it might mess up quite a bit, but let's see. Let's see, let's do the test for Tesseract. And we save this, we come back, we replace, because we are lazy, and we come back and clear, we do Python text recognition.py. And let's say, oh my God, it has messed up quite a bit, so it's not reading at all. It, it's, Printed some gibberish here so this is not working this so this font is not working at all let's take something simpler let's take something simpler let's see let's see let's see something similar and easy hmm. okay this looks different this should be fine hopefully Please, we come back here, we open command prompt, and now we're going to do text pythons recognition.py. 
Do you want to see how text recognition work on a colored image? So this worked really well, really, really well on a different font, which is good. Okay, but we see that uh, when, the moment we changed a different font, we have, when we had a more difficult version or more cursive handwriting, it was not working properly. Uh, let's try one more font before we end this video. So we can work on this. Okay, let's use this guy. Let's collect everything and just do this one. Okay, so this is called as a toy box font. And we're gonna be using this, save it as a JPG, download, save, and simply replace our original image. Close, come back here. And I want to clear so we know what is this. Okay, do you want to see how text recognition work on a colored image? So this worked really well as well. So it looks like uh, it works with some type of fonts and some type it doesn't. And we will see how we can pre-process this image when it's a colored profile, uh, if it's a different image, if it's you know it has a very noisy background so how would uh, text recognition work and that is for our next coming videos so if you like the series so stick around and we'll go into more depth and more complex text recognition systems so until then have a good day and stay safe bye bye